Hey, this is Saif, and today we're gonna create this, yeah, kind of hidden trap mechanic. So when the player is like triggering it after a delay, it will activate. And if the player is in this time window inside this area, it will kill and reset the scene. This works also while the trap is in the air. Okay, so let's go. Let's open a new project. Or oh, you have a project, in mine I have a player in a world. Let's open a new tab. We want a node 2D and call it spike trap. And then we make the node setup. We're gonna need a sprite 2D. Yeah, some timers, some area 2Ds. Let's go. The area 2D here. Yeah. Oh yeah, drag it up so it's not a child of the sprite. And let's call it the trigger area for detecting the player when he's entering. And we want to give that a collision shape. Yeah. So let's add a timer. Well, yeah, first duplicate that because we also need a kill zone to make the trap when activated dangerous for the player and then yeah or yeah like so two timers one for the delayed activation and one for yeah going back the retract time so let's call the first one just spike timer and the second one retract timer yeah, save it. I have a hazards folder, so I'm gonna save it there to be not like in super chaos when the project gets bigger and bigger. And I yeah, will find my stuff. So, okay. Of course, you could select just the Godot icon to, for prototyping, but I think we're gonna go with some spikes here. Yeah, let's let's go with some spikes here. Under hazards, I have some spikes prepared. But yeah, we're gonna find some free assets maybe under Kenny.nl or OpenGameArt.org. That's relatively easy. So let's yeah change this collision type from uh, the kill zone to uh, to polygon. Oops. But I am sorry, I did something wrong. Why is it not a polygon to D here? Why can't I not set points to set the or, the or more individual collision? It should be possible. Okay, let's select it again, maybe. Yeah, I'm just typing it again. And you now I can with left click set some points to yeah, set the actual collision. Yeah, just just slightly being not too exact, but yeah, maybe a little bit generous. So that's more fair to the player. Like so. I think yeah, I think that's as good. That is good for the kill zone. Of course, you if you're going with the Godot icon, you do just a rectangular shape collision. That would be easier, I guess. Okay. I'm just moving it slightly upwards here. And yeah, maybe these. Yeah, maybe a little bit down here. Making sure these yeah, ed sharp edges just pop out of the ground and don't want to interfere the kill zone here. Okay. Now for the trigger area, it needs above a little bit. Above the edges, the sharp edges here. Like so, maybe a little bit more upwards here. I think that's good. 
for the kind of that for the trigger. Lap stepping on it. Not too bright, uh, too white. And really making sure I'm only trigger on the ground. So that's why it's so flat. I'm uh, giving the player here the mask 14 and 15 because I already said something. So don't forget to go to the kill zone, detect player on mask 1 and give it the layer like 14 and have 15 for the trigger area prepared. So yeah, oh yeah, that's the wrong way. Yeah, like so. Layer 15, mask 1 for the player. He is on player 1. And his masks are 14 and 15 for that. Let's now continue with adding the script and connecting the signals we're going to need for this. So you could click here, just yeah, like so. Let's add a script. Okay. We're going to need an export var for speed. Like so, and I, yeah, I think that's good. It's a float. Let's give it the initial of, of something, something like that. And we're going to need two more. Let's add two more for the spike move, for the spike move distance. Load, let's say 50 or so. You can adjust these variables later as you wish. Spike, spike move, spike move speed. Float, let's say 200. Whoops. Float, yeah, like so. And now we're gonna reference everything. There we go. I just reference everything I need the spike sprite this is the sprite 2d the trigger area this one here we're gonna reference the kill zone this one here we wanna refer to the kill zone also because we need the collision here and yeah the timers so I'm gonna need the collision because I wanna like animate through code, like moving up and going down of the trap. And I want to sync the collision of the kill zone with the sprite here. Yeah, so let's move on to some more variables I need. So these are the variables we need a checking if the trap is active, bar is triggered, both false. We want to see the condition if the trap is moving up is moving up bull falls we want to yeah, have the original position and the target position now we are adding the ready function so this is the ready function we want to yeah make sure print spike trap ready and this thing here is for saving the original position and yeah original underscore position is equal spike sprite position target position original position minus vector oh and spike move distance and then we have the spike sprite position original position kill zone monitoring is false spike timer one shot shoe retract timer one shot true these things if you go to the timer you can also uh, go like this and turn it on here check it but i i do it through code yeah and the same goes with the kill zone monitoring yeah there yeah, you can uncheck it if you want so yeah i do false here the next one is the func process function yeah so i will leave notes from now on that's that's maybe better so for the func process delta float we want to make the spikes move up 
if it's moving up and spike sprite position explanation mark equals sign target position spike sprite position equals spike sprite position move toward target position spike movement speed uh, move speed times delta then reset equal kill collision position to spike sprite position yeah we want to sync the collision with the sprite if spike sprite position target position is moving up false so that's for finishing the moving up and yeah we could also print that so now we got the movement up so what we now need is moving down so there we go with moving the spikes of the trap down lf not is moving up in spikes bright position original position not is triggered reset the spikes bright position equal to spikes bright position move toward original position not target position like before and then spike move speed times delta kill collision position is equal to spike sprite position sinking again going back what going going down and if spike sprite position original position is, then let's print it here now we're going to add the functionality for all these signals so in in total it's for we're going to connect the trigger area we're going to connect the two timers and the kill zone so let's start with the trigger area here okay i i added the functionality um but i want to show you the connecting of the signal so that's why i not already did it there we would have a green icon here so go to the trigger area node and then go to body entered body node 2d connect and then we just can leave the rest as it is and do connect so if you have not no functionality it would create a function called like that and you could type your code just right down under so if it's triggered let's return because the trap is already active if body is in group player so we check here if the player is actually triggering the trap yeah what is a group um, maybe you saw it already on the note tab on the right here that's the icon for it i can go to the world scene and see my player already has in this project this icon go to the player tab if you have one and then you go to note groups and then you could add a group with the plus icon here i just typed player that's for me that's the easiest way check it save and then yeah i could check for the body player but no, i'm checking here for if is in group player let's then print to be sure player triggered the spike trap is trigger true trigger underscore area dot monitoring is false so we want to then because it's triggered um, deactivate the trigger and we want to start the timer for the delayed trap activation so yeah so far so good now let's go to the spike timer timeout okay here's the functionality for the spike timer to connect it yeah let's click on the spike timer go to node and then don't be confused we go here to signals and then on timeout we can connect this one and there we go just like before we want to print that the spikes are really extending is moving up is of course true we want to start the up movement or maybe you want to move left or right on the wall you can change it later if you want but yeah let's stay on the topic kill zone monitoring is true we want to activate when the trap is activated we want to also activate the collision of the kill zone and then let's also start the retract timer yeah the timer for going back 
The next one is the retract timer functionality. Okay, we got the functionality for the retract timer to connect the signal. Let's go to retract timer, time out and connect this thing. There's the little icon. Yeah, we want to print that it's actually happening. Is triggered is then false because the trap can now be triggered again. We want to set the trigger area monitoring to true. Yeah, activate trigger again. And we want to deactivate the kill zone monitoring. So yeah, it should not kill when it's not activated. Just like this. So yeah, now we're gonna go to the kill zone signal. Okay, here it is. Let's connect with the signal of the kill zone, which is the area to D. So we go to body entered body not to D connect. And yeah, it's not it's not appearing here because yeah, the function is not found. I must add it before it's visible. So let's do the func reset level here. So not wondering why that works. So get tree. And yeah, that's for resetting or reloading. Uh, I missed something. Yeah, the dot here. The current scene. And this is also wrong. This is an underscore. Yeah. Okay, everything is connected. Let's see if it works. I go to the world. Yeah. Oh, my player's here. So let's drag him down. And where is the trap? There is the spike trap. Let's drag it to the scene. And now it should be somewhere around here. We want to make sure it's a good position, like intended. Yeah. Just slightly indicating there could be something beneath beneath it. So, yeah, we not care about visibility now. It's, it's just for simple prototyping if it if it works. There it goes up and down again. So let's now stay inside and it kills resets us to our starting place so what if i'm triggering and yeah just jumping in okay what okay if i'm directly under ah it's it's kind of late but the functionality is working so yeah that's it hope you liked it bye bye